about to turn this into that. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Your boy Cam Life 12 here, or Cam's Life 12, if you're gonna be correct. Tuning in with another video. Now you're gonna see the do's and don't when it comes to installing your spoiler on your Infinity Q50 or Q60. Let's go. Step one, the tape that comes with this, I want you to grab it. Once you have the tape that came in the box, take it to your mirror's trash can, get rid of it. What I highly recommend, once you get rid of that tape, no offense to the company, the tape will work, but for my assistant, it did not work. I'm gonna put the video now. I'll be honest, this turned out like crap. So I'm just gonna redo it in the morning. Do not ever do anything when you're tired from a long day. This side is fine. When you get over there, yeah, I know. But once you get rid of the tape, head to your local store, pick you up some 3M automotive adhesive tape. It's thinner and I think it, I am, it should work better. But let's actually get to this install. As you see, alcohol, little rag. I'm gonna prep this spoiler, get the old adhesive off, clean it down. Then we're gonna turn around. We're gonna prep the trunk of the car, clean that very well. Shouldn't be too hard of a process. So there's still some residue from when I failed on the previous install on the spoiler. I'm gonna take, what is it, mineral spirits? And I'm gonna lather it down or wipe it down as well. So I didn't put too much on the towel, just a little bit. Let's get to it. So while that dries, I'm gonna get another towel. Not this towel, a different towel. I'm gonna to hit the outskirts of the, the trunk, get ready for this spoiler install. So pretty much all I did, took a towel, wet it, water. I'm just gonna wipe down the spoiler, or the trunk area. All right, let's get rid of this. And we're just gonna take the towel and just wipe. So while that dries, I'm gonna take the spoiler, the 3M tape, I'm gonna do the, the layer that's gonna go on the spoiler, and then I'm gonna put the spoiler on the car to line it up, see where I want, and then I'm gonna take so this, I'm gonna put probably three strips one along this edge that's gonna to touch the back of the trunk. Then I'm gonna go put one along the front, put maybe two small ones on the side, and then one down the middle. So 
in strip number three. As y'all can see, I know they're not straight, maybe OCD for some of you guys, but sure, now I'm gonna go see how I'm gonna line it up. We have the pre fitment going on. You see it's too much to this side. And there's this side, so I'm gonna move it over a little. This looks a little better. Let's see. I want about a pinky. So I have about a pinky of space on each side. So now I'm gonna take the tape, boom, and boom. So now with the tape, I know about how much room I have when I go peeling the 3M tape off to get ready to set the spoiler down. Now let's get to that action. All right, mission complete. What I'm gonna do now I have these long quarter bean bags for cornhole. I'm gonna let them just sit on here overnight. This side is off by a little, like not much. You would have to run your finger along here to tell. But on this side, it came out perfect. This side is off by just the hair. The only way you're gonna know this side is off is if you literally come behind the spoiler and just go. I don't think anyone's gonna do that. Once again, I'm no expert. I'm just doing what I like to do to my car. If you guys are rocking with this, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Be sure to like, be sure to comment. And next time, we should be the chrome, we should start the chrome delete on the car Then for the next mod. And then after that, I'm gonna slowly start taking it to the track. It's just hot right now, but we're gonna have some fun with this thing.